Hello and welcome to my Chimera State YouTube channel. Also 10 from Isotope is finally here and in this video I'll be doing a test of this popular mastering suite for you. In addition, I'll tell you which mastering tools I usually use and some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Ozone 10. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Many new features have been added to Ozone 10 Advanced, such as a new stabilizer module, an intelligent and adaptive equalizer that makes real-time frequency corrections in order to apply EQ boosts and cuts as it corrects your audio to the target tonal balance. It kind of reminds me on Sound Theory Skullfoss, another AI-based EQ, which I use very often. Also new is the impact module, which adjusts the amount of expansion or compression applied to the microdynamics of a signal. Positive values expand the microdynamics for a more open, punchy sound, and negative values compress the microdynamics for a denser, more compressed sound. With Magnify Soft Clip, Isotome has given the maximizer a new function that can be used to additionally boost loudness while maintaining high fidelity audio. Thanks to fourfold oversampling, aliasing distortion is being prevented. In order to get a little bit more volume out of my productions, I'm currently using the Oxford Inflator from Sonox and I'm really excited to see how the two tools differ in terms of sound. The imager has also been updated. Now it is possible to reduce width without losing the stereo information on the sides, resulting even in better mono masters that preserves depth and power when narrowing problem frequencies like a white bass. Also improved is the Master Assistant, which automatically analyzes your track and builds a custom signal chain to achieve the sound of a reference file, which you can upload in the software yourself or use target presets also in 10 comes with. Master Assistant is a perfect starting point for every mastering session. As always, you find useful video tutorials on all features on the Isotope website. I personally own the Ozone 10 Advanced version, which includes all functions and also includes all modules as individual plugins. Ozone 10 is also available in a standard version and both versions are part of different Isotope bundles. News also that Ozone 10 Standard is now part of Native Instruments Complete 14 bundles from the Complete 14 Standard version and upwards. If you are interested in a review of the Complete 14 Collector's Edition, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'm already working on a video about it. I've been using Ozone for many years since version 4 to be precise. However, I've been mastering my own tracks using a mastering chain made up of a wide variety of plugins and honestly only use the maximizer of Oso 9 occasionally. That is why I'm really curious about the improvements and new additions to Oso 10 and to find out whether the mastering suite can replace my current mastering setup. The advantage of using the Oso mastering suite is obvious. Isotope software now includes all the audio editing tools you need for mastering and if the master assistant works as well as Isotope promises, it will also save a lot of time and CPU resources compared to using many different individual plugins. On the Isotope website you will find an overview of all included modules and a comparison chart that shows how the standard and advanced versions differ. But let's get down to business. For this video I want to remaster the song We're All Gonna Need Someone that I wrote and produced with Beatrix Delgado. For remastering I use Ozone 10 Advanced. Here we go. Let's have a listen to the unmastered mix first. For speed we break along the way, hesitating to arrive. We're all gonna Now I open also in 10 advanced in the master bus. By clicking on the colorful circle icon, the master assistant starts automatically asking for the source material. It is very important to select the loudest part of the song, otherwise the end result may sound too loud and distorted. As you can see, the master assistant has automatically recognized that the song is an EDM production and has put together a mastering chain based on the EDM reference preset also 10 comes with. I'm super stoked about how good the result sounds. Compared to the unmastered track, the difference is significant. 
Then use the equalizer and stabilizer controls to set the intensity of the adjustment to the reference source. In most cases I find the middle position sufficient, but in this example the maximum settings sound good also. same window you can additionally adjust the intensity of the imager, the maximizer and the impact module. menu on the left you can change the genre of the reference preset or add your own reference tracks. In my example I loaded Tiesto The Business which I really like and Dreams by David Guetta which end result I don't like very much. But for this video let's continue with the master assistant's suggestion. By clicking on the relearn button we can run it again. Let's have a look at the mastering chain in detail. The first module is an equalizer to adjust the rough frequency differences. Got, 
Then the stabilizer module is added to dynamically modify the frequency response. Then the impact module optimizes the dynamics of four frequency bands and as you can see the low frequencies have been expanded to give the kick drum more punch. Now follows the Imager module to adjust the stereo panorama according to the reference preset. Afterwards comes the Dynamic EQ, a module that is finally also available in the Ozone 10 standard version. And finally, there's the maximizer with which you can maximize the overall loudness of your track. New is the soft clip function that allows you to push the algorithm even harder in order to achieve more overall loudness. In addition to the master assistant, you can of course also use one of the many included presets which are sorted by genre or common problems in mastering. Furthermore, it is also possible to manually expand the mastering chain with all other available modules. Simply open the menu and select the desired modules. The modules already used in the mastering chain are grayed out as you can see here. A module that I would also like to highlight is called Master Rebalance, on which you can edit the volume of three instrument groups after a track has been mastered already. Hopefully you will never need that feature, but I'm still totally amazed at what's possible with Ozone 10 Advanced and how good the processing sounds.
the sunrise awaits me Hounding voices whispering stuff But I don't Exclusively for Oso 10 Vans, there's also the module Low End Focus, on which you can adjust low frequencies. And as you know from one of my other videos, I'm usually using Bass Room for mastering the mix for this task. Aiming to Spectral Shaper is another very useful module for processing problems in selected frequency ranges. Here too, I would recommend starting with one of the presets. All in all, I'm positively surprised about Ozone 10 Advanced and can definitely imagine mastering my tracks with it from now on. What do you think of Ozone 10? Let me know in the comment section below. While I'm still tinkering with Ozone 10, I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Auf Wiedersehen! We break.